the one, the only, Ben Good morning and welcome to Yeshiva YouTube. Ian Mitzion. Today we're doing Masech HaShkol and Peraches, Mishnah Yezvav and Zion. It's basically both Mishnahs are one long machlokas. There's four opinions. We pass like the last opinion. The subject is Kadshe Kadshim. Basar Vachata, Asar Nashim, the Kwanim are eating it. Um, but it becomes Tameh. So where do you burn it? So the Ravadi Bartanura says that really, technically, you're supposed to burn it in the Kodesh. Psule Kodesh Kodeshim, Shkol Psule B'Kodesh, Sarafin on the Sabah Kodesh. Anything which becomes puzzled while it's in the Kodesh, while it's in the Azara, is burnt in the Azara. Rabbi Akiva, we paskin like, says, whether it's Tameh Midah Raisa or it's Tameh Midah Rabban, and you burn it there. If it becomes Tameh outside the Azara, so you don't bring it into the Azara, you burn it there. The other opinions have different, three different other opinions. We'll focus on Beis Hillel. Usually the Alaska follows Beis Hillel. Beis Hillel says, <clears throat> Omrim, I call you Sarif Bechutz. Everything is burnt outside. Even if it's, the only thing which is burnt inside, if it's burnt inside, and it's Tami Midar then you burn it inside. But if it's burnt inside, if it's, it becomes Tami inside, Tami Midar Raisa, you take it outside. What does Beis Hillel do with the fact that, seemingly on a Daraisa level, I think it's in the Kodesh, so you burnt in the Kodesh. So you have to analyze over here what exactly um, is this halacha, whatever is in the Kodesh becomes tummy, is burnt in its place. Is the point that it's specifically a mitzvah to burn it where it becomes tummy? Or is the idea that the idea of burning it by Kodesh is merely a convenience? It's merely, it's, the Torah says you don't have to be matriarch yourself, you don't have to burn yourself, take it outside. So therefore, that's the opinion, I believe, of Beis Hillel. Beis Hillel says it's a convenience. So really, that's only with the Evid. The Evid, I guess you can burn it inside. Lechad Chila, if it's Tami Midar Raisa, take it outside. Burning it in the Kodesh is not the best thing. It's a convenience. And technically, if it's Tami Raisa, take it outside. It's Rabbanon, it's too the Rabbanon. It's Tami Midar Rabbanon. So therefore, you can leave it and burn it inside. Our according to Rabbi Akiva, we pass him like, the mitzvah is to burn it where it is. Get rid of it. That's the, the, it, the mitzvah. Is don't hold on to the tumor. Burn it as quickly as possible. It's not, right? It's not burn it. You have to get rid of it. We don't care. We, we want it really to be outside. But <clears throat> according to, to Rabbi Akiva, the point is there's a mitzvah to get rid of it as quickly as possible. So if it's even if it's something with the rice, burn it in the Kodesh. Now, if it's something outside, the fastest way to burn it is burn it where it is, outside. Don't bring it into the Kodesh. It only wants you to burn it in the Kodesh because, that, because that's the fastest way of getting rid of it. According to, to Beis Hill, the other opinions, really the point of burning it, the Kodesh, is merely an, an act of convenience. Well, Torah wants you to get rid of it. It doesn't care how fast you get rid of it, but technically it wants you, it, it allows you, it gives you a hat there to burn it, the Kodesh. But the Chachila should be burned outside, according to Beis Hill. We pass the Kodesh, the Mitzvah has to get rid of it, right? Again, by no sir, you have to burn it. By Ish Tisrofu, the Torah... It's an abomination. The Torah wants something which passed the expiration date, or something which is tummy, which is impure. The Torah wants it to be dealt with as quickly as possible, to devour it and burn it and get rid of it as quickly as possible. And that's why the Allah is even if it's tummy rice, so you burn it in the Kodesh corner of Akiva, and that's how we paskin. Hope you enjoyed today's share. See you in the next one.